Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Panure, and today I got something really special for you. It's a 2022 Land Rover 110 XS edition. This just came in off the truck, so you're gonna see stuff that even I haven't seen before. Here we go. So this Defender 110 XS just came off the transport truck. So you probably have seen the semi-tractor trailers full of vehicles before. This literally just came off that transport truck. And I wanted to take a moment to just show it to you. There's some unique features. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up, help us grow this channel. So these are the things that you don't get to see very often. And uh, some of the stuff I've never even seen. And I'll have a description below of the entire vehicle with all the features. That plastic, white that you see, that's a protective plastic on the vehicle to pre prevent uh, scratches in those panels. And then you can also see in the center of the wheel, the uh, center cap is missing. If you have any questions or want to arrange a test drive, give Chris a call. His contact information is listed below. And you can see right there the, the lug nuts. Not all the lug nuts are missing. The, are, are not all the lug nuts are there. Some of them are missing. The lockable lug nuts are missing. But this vehicle just came off and it was in transport mode. And in order to start it, I had to go through a certain procedure. I don't want to disclose that. The dealership may not want me to. But uh, different vehicles require a different process. And if you don't know that process, you'll never get it started. The uh, doors are all locked. The driver's door, you have to use a key to open it up. So not all the functionality is uh, working on the vehicle until it's been PDI'd, which is, what is it, pre-delivery inspection. Every vehicle that comes in requires, it goes into the shop, they have to set the computers and they remove all this plastic. And then on the top, that's a, uh, on the hood, that's a, uh, like a cloth protector that protects it from scratches or oil dripping on it or uh, anything like that. As we dive into the interior, you can see the back seat doesn't really have any protection because no one would really get in the back seat. That box you see there, those are inside that box are all the small pieces that are uh, taken off or never put on the vehicle to prevent them from being damaged or, or scratched. And each one of them is a rather expensive piece then you can see that protective cover on the center console. And when I slide out of the back and into the front, you'll see more of that. The cardboard on the floor is to protect the carpeting. And then check out that plastic. I didn't remove it all the way, but in, later in the video, you'll see I pull it away from the center console. You can see the cover for the seat, the steering wheel. So these are all unique things that you don't get to see as a, uh, a car shopper because the dealer in part of the prep, they remove all this um, and get it ready for the front line, as they say. Uh, when you show up at a dealership, they have it front line ready. So here are the additional power ports for the vehicle. And I'll also have a link to another 110 SX that you can watch, or I'm sorry, XS that you can watch and see all the uh, features and benefits of the vehicle. I just wanted to shoot this as, as uh, it came off the truck just because to me it was unique and I thought people may uh, really enjoy that. Not all of the functionality works. Not all of the, the computers have been reset. So the, uh, the driver's door opens. I had to literally open the other doors, the side doors and the back door from the inside. The tailgate, I wasn't able to open because there was a box back there and I couldn't reach back to open it so that I don't get to show you that. But you can see that the you know sunshade works. Some of the computer works. Some of the backup camera works. But it, when I was trying everything, uh, it was interesting because I wasn't sure if it would come on or not. Because when it's in transport mode, that's the bare minimum. You can literally only drive this vehicle 10 miles an hour. Anything more than that, it won't. Pre it will prevent you from driving that fast. Uh, the side mirrors, I wasn't able to kick them out. Here you can see transport mode. So, and then the battery, you can see uh, there's very little fuel in it, just enough to get it off the truck, park it, and then the dealer does their dealer prep. Here we put it in uh, back or in reverse. You can see the backup cameras. So that functionality was working. And as I pull this back, you can see 
the HVAC, the air conditioner, is working. So it's it's uh, it's interesting what works and what doesn't work. And as I'm punctured through the functionality, it's it's a, a mystery to me what's going to work and what isn't isn't going to work. And I don't know until I I try it. So it's uh, it's rather interesting. Again, all of the features will be listed below uh, in the description of this video. I have it listed out just like I do for all of it. There's an 11.4 inch Privy Pro touchscreen. As we go through the, uh, this has three zone climate control. So driver, passenger, and then the rear seat has a separate uh, HVAC controls. Push button start. Then this cover, uh, so this vehicle is equipped with the refrigerated center console. So it has two zones and then the wireless phone charger. So when I pull this back, you can see the center console. But I, I really found that interesting and I thought you guys might find it interesting as well. Let me know in the comments below if you find this interesting. Uh, I don't generally take the time to do this, but then again, a lot of times I don't get a chance to catch them as they come off the truck. They usually come off the truck and right into the shop. Here you can see the transport mode. So as far as the engine is concerned, up here, uh, other than the cover for the hood, everything is uh, pretty much the way you see it. So this is a 3.0 liter, six cylinder, inline six. Here's the cover that I was talking about. It's a cloth kind of a cloth fabric to cover and protect the hood. Go ahead and choose your next video. Hit a subscribe button in the middle. Thanks again for watching. We greatly appreciate it. Help us grow this channel. Thanks again, and I can bring more. Let me know.